Gordon was a good and decent man. He put his whole heart and soul into the mission, the Family Service Foundation. He always had a ready smile and a helping hand. He was always here. He was always faithful. He is really missed here at Family Service Foundation and he's really missed by me. May he rest eternally in peace. And I hope and pray that his family finds much comfort in their many memories of him. God bless all. I worked with Gordon for five years. Um, half of that time he was my direct supervisor and I can truly say he was the best boss that I've ever had. Um, he was both kind and empathetic and supportive, um, always you know, able to give a sympathetic ear, always able to give me a pep talk when I needed it, um, willing to try to help me solve any problem that came up. He was very politically savvy, able to navigate difficult, thorny situations with such grace and creativity and intelligence. Um, I hope that I can be half the leader that he was someday. He was described in one of our auditing reports about our agency as a visionary leader. And I remember he was very humble about that and joked about it. And we all kind of teased him about it. Um, but the fact is it was true. He was a visionary leader. Um, I'm so lucky to have been able to work with him and had a professional relationship with him. And I also considered him my friend. And I remember when I was trying to tell people in my personal life, you know, that my boss had passed away. I felt like I couldn't convey to them. It wasn't just my boss. He was my friend. Um, I was sending all of my friends, you know, his obituary and trying to explain and show them, you know, what a truly amazing person he was and what a huge loss this is for anyone who knew him and for those who, who worked with him, that it was more than just a professional loss, that there's a, there's a void there every single day. I miss him every single day. Um, and I'm so glad that I had the chance to work with him. Uh, my name's Will. I've been in Family Service Foundation since 2016. Uh, I met Gordon. He, he was one of the people who interviewed me, actually, uh, for a position that I don't really didn't really interact with him much at all in the beginning, except maybe going to him once every few weeks for check signing. And that was probably the extent of it. But every time I went to his office, uh, he always had a little bowl of candy and Starburst on the side of his office. And I would always make sure to grab some. He would always encourage me to grab some. I never saw him eating any, but he would always tell me to grab plenty. Um, those first few years of working with him, again, seeing him very seldom, yet I could tell he was a, a gentle soul, a very gentle soul. I don't think I really got how much so that was until I started working with him in a different capacity where he was directly supervising me and I moved to another position. Um, there I had many, many opportunities to work with him. And in all of these times, so many stress-filled situations, Gordon never, he was, when I say he was a gentle soul, there were trying situations all the time. And he always showed so much patience and self-control. It was amazing. I only saw him once perhaps snap at someone. It was when someone made a tasteless joke against a client or at the expense of a client. And only then did I hear a tone from him that, um, well, never heard again, but it was sharp and to the point and he corrected it. Besides that though, we, we would have many opportunities where uh, I would see him in action, to, so to speak. He handled situations with so much poise and patience and gentleness situations where I wanted to be, I wanted to take control and I want to be like Gordon because we need to be forceful. We need to, we need to correct this. We need to, I wanted to react in anger sometimes and he would handle situation that ought to bring us to anger and, and often did frustrate him. And he always showed respect to the other party every single time. He would say things, he would find the right words every time that were appropriate gentle spirit. Uh, I don't know how he did it. I joke with my wife sometimes that I could not have been in a, ever be in a CEO position because I can't play that game. I don't know how he managed to talk to people the way he did consistently with respect and gentleness. Hi, I'm Matt from Family Service Foundation. 
Uh, I got the privilege to work with Gordon his time here. Uh, very much enjoyed it. Uh, I took care of Jubal, who Gordon had lunch with almost every day uh, that Jubal was in the building. And uh, it's pretty amazing when your CEO sits down with one of the individuals we serve uh, on a daily basis and listens and talks and it's just that's the kind of guy he was and he uh, had an open door and anyone could walk through it and me and Jubal walking through that door that just proved it uh, he will be missed I'm so sorry for everyone's loss including my own um, uh, thank God for Gordon.